there just isn't a critical mass of people consuming the same media outlet, either in print or broadcast. Well, part of that probably has to do with the counterculture of the, the 1960s and 1970s around Vietnam, when uh, the establishment lost its, uh, its moral authority and people stopped believing that they had to uh, be informed about developments in, in Washington or Ottawa because they became very cynical about that sort of thing and it became fashionable to dismiss politics as irrelevant in people's lives, something that wasn't true, I think, two generations ago. Um, and also be people became more narcissistic. Uh, the 1980s was famously called the me decade where everyone started dwelling on themselves. You had victim politics, you had identity politics. And the idea of being interested in world events merely for the sake of being a good citizen and being educated uh, became out of fashion. If you look at every survey of political attitudes in Western countries, you see that there's a hardening of political attitudes on both sides of the political spectrum. So how do you sustain a national conversation about current events when the people on the right side of the spectrum are watching Fox News and the people on the left side are watching, who knows, MSNBC or some other network? When everyone was getting their news and everyone was getting their opinions from the same two or three major newspapers and the same t uh, two or three nightly dinner time uh, news broadcasts. Uh, it just was difficult to create an ideological community based on hard right or hard left or hard anything attitudes because you just didn't have the media space available to you. But now, obviously, that is available. And it's not just political attitudes. You know, you have communities on the Internet, millions and millions of people devoted to all sorts of causes, including causes that can be quite harmful. You have a lot of people, for instance, who believe that you shouldn't vaccinate your kids because it could cause uh, them to get autism. You have groups on the Internet who are devoted to hateful ideologies, who are devoted to all sorts of bigoted uh, movements. Um, and given that fragmentation, you know, these are ideas that would never get a foothold when there were only three or four television channels available. 